The research cluster for macromolecular and interfacial engineering has its focus in pure and applied science of soft materials. We're basically looking at the range of novel materials to provide solutions in advanced health and advanced materials. The research we do examines primarily materials like complex fluids, Biological fluids like synovial fluid, like spinal fluid, like mucus cannot be created artificially with the same properties as the ones found in nature. So we're working with partners in biomedical engineering to not only develop an understanding of fluids like this and how they behave, but to develop new artificial versions of these fluids. We try to measure the structures of molecules and interfaces. These are the molecules that help our face creams, our pharmaceuticals and our paints be stable and high performing. We've developed a confinement cell which allows us to measure the structures of molecules in really tiny spaces. We want to know the structures of the molecules so that we can start to understand something about why the formulation has the properties it has. It's been known for about 50 years how to make polymers and polymeric nanoparticles. What we try to do is to improve the level down to the molecular structure so that we can tailor make polymeric chains and particles to the end use. One of the things that's unique about our approach is that we have a tendency to combine experimental work with computational modeling. So we try to bring this quantitative aspect to synthetic polymer chemistry. My ultimate goal is to make polymers with the same precision as nature, because we can use this polymer for therapeutic application. For example, if we were capable to prepare artificial insulin, we could treat more efficiently diabetes. I develop nanocomposite material, for example, magnetic nanoparticles that are combined with polymers. Such composite nanosystems can have very useful application in medicine. For example, we are working closely with a drug company to use the system to trigger the release of cancer drug such that it has less side effect on the patient. It's a really exciting time for us because we feel we're bringing together expertise from different fields, trying to provide new solutions in a range of fields from advanced materials to nanomedicine.